Welcome back to the Soul Therapy YouTube channel and man oh man do I have a banger for you guys today. I embarked on a trip to downtown Chicago, more specifically Mag Mile to hit the Nike store and see if I could get my hands on some Kobe's. And the results were better than anticipated but you'll see soon. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers, y'all. Thank you for the continued support. If you have not joined the community yet, make sure to do so. Leave a like, subscribe, and join our free Discord, which will be linked down below. We'll be discussing upcoming shoes, thrift finds, and a sneak peek at some merch. The first stop of this video was Ross, and honestly, I just had some time to kill before the good stores opened up, so I wanted to see if I could find anything in store. I did find this Deadpool and Wolverine graphic hoodie, and honestly, the back graphic wasn't too bad. It it just seemed like the print quality wasn't all that. This ODB shirt was actually pretty fire. The weather has been amazing as of late. You couldn't ask for any better climate to go sneaker shopping and come across some deals. I feel like the sneaker game is picking up some steam, especially going into 2025. There's going to be so many great releases, and I hope you guys are alongside of me for all that journey. All right, the moment you guys have been waiting for at the Nike store, and yes, they did have the Kobe's, and I picked up two of them. But first, let's talk about the releases they had here. They had this Nike Dunk Low in the Olympic colorway. These recent Nike Dunk Low SBs have not been moving for Nike. They also had the newly released Jordan 4 RM, which garnered some steam online, but I think are outlet bound. And those gray Jordan 3s are just unnecessary in my opinion. If you like them, enjoy them, just not for me. All right, enough teasing y'all. When it came to the Kobe's, I ended up scooping the University Red colorway and the Lakers Home colorway, which is the black and red pairs. It seems like the bigger sizes were limited on this release so congrats to anyone who was able to pick up a pair for retail i'm going to be dropping a more in-depth showcase on both of those shoes so make sure you're following that should be coming out in the next couple of days Upstairs, they had some not Travis Scott Black Phantoms, some phone posits, and some Air Max ones that had this really nice colorway to it. Honestly, one of my better trips to Nike Town in the past couple of months. Next up, I had to check out the Static at Diplomatic and see what they had in stock. They had these Joe Fresh Goods New Balances that I'm really interested in picking up a pair for myself. Online, they really aren't going for that much, and that icy blue is just made for me. And the J Balvin Real in the black colorway has been a shoe that I've been after for a minute. So if anyone has a good deal on a size 12, just hit me up, you know, slide me a DM. Overall, solid stuff at Diplomatic, just pretty pricey. I mean, that's what you expect for downtown Chicago. Next up is Nordstrom, and don't sleep on Nordstrom. Sometimes they do have some heaters here. But yeah, the, their Jordan selection was almost non-existent. They did have some cool Vumeros and some Nike Dunk Low colorways that I hadn't seen yet before, including these black and blue ones. These are slight. And this other gray and blue colorway, not a big fan of all that mesh material on it, but they look pretty solid. These Sambas, on the other hand, fire. I always tell people who are looking to pick up a pair of Sambas, don't go with the standard white or black. I mean, you can, the classics, but switch it up, have a little bit of variation with it, have fun with it, and really pick something that catches your eye. Because at the end of the day, don't be afraid to try new things, but also wear what you like. They had these Doc Martens. I'm looking to pick up a pair of these. I do like the ones that don't have the black and yellow stitching. I know, I know, that's the whole kind of point behind Doc Martens, but I'm a simple dude. The all black stitching looks best for me. I popped into Foot Locker on State Street, and honestly, they had a lot of great shoes on sale, including these Jordan 3 Fears, only 150 bucks, and these Jordan 9 Powder Blues that I did not expect to go on sale. They also had the new Kobe releases, which is great to to see i'm hyped that kobe's are becoming easier for people to attain for retail off at jd sports it was much of the same story they had some jordan 2 lows for only 60 bucks some jordan 1 lows in amazing colorways for good prices as well and i'm gonna say it i'm a big fan of these jordan 1 mids i think the colorway is nice the materials are nice you can't go wrong with them they also had these jordan 1 lows for only 50 bucks Admittedly, it was a size 13 and that was their last size, but 50 bucks is a stain for some Jordan 1 lows. Lastly, we're at Ross where they had some uh, Team Jordans, some Pumas. These are not bad, the MB2 in this tannish colorway. They had some CL Responses, a very comfortable shoe that's in line with the Mesh Boy trend that we're in the middle of. And some AE1s? Okay, this is pretty fire. At Ross, it's insane to see shoes like that. I mean, they wore a size 6, which 
you know, it's like a 7.5 women, so I'd see more women rocking that than men, but still a really cool shoe. They had some good deals on jeans. I mean, don't sleep at all. They had these D roses that brought back some good memories and some fun graphic t-shirts alongside more MB2s. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get to 3K. We got it.